Okay, so the first one here, the Banana Pie Model B, so this is the 512 meg version. Um, so very quickly, there's been a heap of reviews on these, so I won't overdo it too much. Uh, your GPIO for headers, uh, for, for controlling input and output peripherals, uh, composite out, so video, uh, audio out, standard 3.5mm audio jack. Uh, so we've got uh, two USB 2.0, an RJ45 uh, 10-100 Ethernet connection, and the HDMI out on the other side. Um, the Model B is a, a full-size SD card. In this case, I've got a 16 gig in there. Uh, and yep, you will be familiar with the uh, the primary chip. So the Raspberry Pi Model B, 512 meg of memory, and it's a single core CPU, uh, 700 megahertz is the standard clock. You can overclock those, but generally speaking, 700 megahertz. So that is the Banana Pi Model B. Uh, and again, like I said, 512 meg of memory on that one. And power is done uh, via the uh, micro SD on the side and they require five volts through the micro SD. Um, about two amps is a healthy power supply, um, but they can run as low as, depending on peripherals and so on and so forth, as low as um, 0.7 of an amp. So the Raspberry Pi Model B. The next one, almost identical in size as you can see. I'll just spin those around. So. This is the Banana Pi. Now you can see SD card location, HDMI location, composite out, headphone jack, uh, the um, USB and the RJ45 in extremely similar locations. Board size, not exact, but really close. Um, and you can get, uh, so these, these pinouts are virtually identical, so you can get an alignment somewhere along the lines. Um, and this one came with an absolutely uh, fantastic little case and you've got your, um, your ribbon connector uh, options there for uh, things like screens and so on. But with the Banana Pi, the Banana Pi's main difference is that it is a dual core, as we can see on the back here, it is a dual core A20 chip. Um, let's get a quick look at that one. So a dual core A20 CPU at one gigahertz and its operating systems are very similar. Uh, it runs a version of Raspbian, uh, which is the default, or the, the most common um, distribution, operating system distribution for the standard Raspberry Pi. So it runs a version of Raspbian, um, but with more, a lot more power. So uh, a dual core, one gigahertz, as opposed to a single core, 700. So if you're looking for something that runs an operating system, a familiar operating system with a GUI, uh, this can suffer although the Raspbian OS is very efficient at using the hardware, this can suffer, but this runs significantly quicker. So if you are looking at an option for uh, some sort of little embedded computer, computer on a board that's actually capable of uh, putting a, a nice GUI together and making it usable, not that the Raspbian one for the Model B isn't, but it is slow, and we'll have a look at that. So this one is significantly quicker as a desktop type operating system uh, OS. And it has the added advantage that it has a SATA connector and a power for the SATA. So you can actually hook up direct from this, running off this board, uh, an external 2.5 inch hard drive, you know, one terabyte, two terabyte drive, whatever you need. So you can have this with no extra power, uh, only the uh, five volts going into the board uh, running uh, another hard drive or an external hard drive at whatever capacity you want. So that is a potentially a great option. So recently the Pi 2 has come out. Now the Pi 2 side by side with the Pi is virtually identical with some obvious differences. So virtually identical board size um, but there have been a number of changes and just simply those changes HDMI and audio output but no composite out as on the original Raspberry Pi B. Um, still got the two headers, a lot more GPIO available when compared to the Model B and they've changed to a micro SD card as opposed to a full-sized SD card and on the back of the board here you still have the RJ45 connector uh, but you have four USB ports as opposed to 
two USB ports. The other big difference with this Raspberry Pi is that it is now a quad-core Broadcom CPU, quad-core 900 megahertz. So you have a quad-core 900 megahertz computer as opposed to a single-core 700 megahertz computer or a dual-core 1 gigahertz computer. There are your three options at the moment and there's actually a few others too. Um, QB Truck is a multi-cored all-winner type um, computer on a board and it has a number of uh, extra inputs and outputs which make it quite useful for certain applications. But at this stage we're just doing the Raspberry Pi Model B, the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Banana Pi. So how do these actually work uh, as a computer? Uh, if you put a, a GUI type operating system on them and use them that way. Let's take a look. All right, so we're pretty much booted into the Raspbian operating system and you'll see in the top right hand corner there that the uh, CPU utilization is under 10% because uh, I'm moving the mouse around at the moment. It fluctuates, uh, hover over the clock and I can get it to go up to around 30. But generally speaking, as nothing else is going on, it, it drops down to the one or 2% mark. Um, however, if you fire up, um, and I've got internet connectivity on this one, if you fire up a standard web page, and obviously I've just booted the Pi, so nothing's cached. All right, and we'll go for the built-in web browser. CPU utilization, top right corner, 100%. And we get a page um, pop-up with, um, yep, so we get the web browser to pop up and Utilizations dropped down to around the 10% mark and yeah that took around 5 to 10 seconds so if we actually try a full address google.com.au okay so we're almost there, not complete yet. And there we go, the page has now finished. And that's, as you, most of you would experience, the uh, Google um, standard search page is pretty quick to load. But it is now HTTPS, which takes a little bit more resources. And you probably would have noticed that the CPU utilization was at 100% for quite a while. And that page wasn't instant. Um, it took quite a few seconds to get going. So it's gone, it, we're, we're finished. So the Yahoo page has now loaded. Uh, that took around 30 seconds, um, which is obviously so much slower than you would expect. That's not the connection here, uh, as we'll see, or the, um, the power, the internet connection, and everything else that we'll try between the three devices is all exactly the same. So it's, this is purely about what the Pi can do. So Model 1 Pi, 700 megahertz, um, decent SD card and that does make a difference but this one's a, at least a 30 megasecond card um, so and they're all 30 megasecond cards in each of these devices they're all the same speed so from the same manufacturer So we're done, it's down to 10%, um, but uh, yeah, very, very slow. And obviously if I tried to fire up uh, any of the uh, actual trailers, so that page is ready to go. Online, people who are already don't like the president are criticizing him for coming here. 
President Bush would get the same thing when he did TV shows. It's the nature of the job, I guess. So it is running, um, it is intermittent, um, although you could actually call that watchable as long as you're not interrupting it uh, by moving the uh, mouse or operating the keyboard. Um, it's sitting on around 90%, however that does drop to around about 70 if I'm not asking the uh, computer to do anything else. So there you go, for some basic level uh, YouTube videos they will actually run. Uh, one thing to note is that the Raspberry Pi Model B that right now isn't using Wi-Fi that requires additional uh, capabilities of the device therefore this video or videos like this YouTube running through Wi-Fi will run considerably worse um, but it does actually do it so okay that's the uh, Raspberry Pi Model B but what about the Banana Pi with a bit more horsepower behind it let's take a look So here we have the Banana Pi, um, desktop's already loaded up. So what I'll do is uh, pretty much do the same tests. I'll fire up the integrated web browser. All right, so we've got Firefox loaded up here and um, the standard page. So what I will do is I'll go to the address bar and type in Google homepage. So as you can see, it's still loading, but there it is. So that loaded up significantly faster uh, than the uh, Raspberry Pi Model B. So we'll do something a little bit different. And search for cats on YouTube. I'm sure we won't find any hits there. Okay. So what you're seeing here is the video that we've just clicked on. Um, not a direct comparison, a little bit different video to the Raspberry Pi um, example. But as you can see, straight out of the box, this particular distribution uh, and the graphical componentry inside the actual um, Banana Pi is different to the Raspberry Pi. And when it comes to this type of video, actually not as good, the Raspberry Pi even though it's half the power of the Banana Pi, is actually better at doing a YouTube video, uh, albeit the pages load significantly slower. Uh, it's better doing YouTube videos than the Banana Pi is straight out of the box. I'm not saying you can't get better with optimization, but out of the box the way it is at the moment, this particular distribution, which still has some um, maturity uh, to come, so it's still uh, a fairly raw kind of product, Raspberry Pi operating system, the Raspbian operating system uh, has been around a lot longer and therefore has had a lot more um, development. So it is uh, as it is a quite a polished operating system as opposed to this one. I'm sure this will get better, but the video is nowhere near as smooth as what the Raspberry Pi was doing. Uh, and you've probably already noticed as well that the uh, audio uh, is missing. So the default web browser or the web browser running on the Banana Pi edition, not quite as good at video uh, and the audio is missing. However, if you uh, ignore uh, the actual YouTube uh, performance and we do the um, Yahoo web page, which is what we did on the Raspberry Pi, and I'm not running any proxy servers or anything here, so the, there's no caching advantage, etc. And we're done. So, although still not very quick, um, m orders of magnitude faster than the Raspberry Pi Model B, first one. So, there you go, there's a, a kind of a working example of how fast that page could load. Um, much, much quicker than the Raspberry Pi Model B. However, the YouTube performance with the default settings and default um, everything else on the um, distribution that comes f with the Banana Pi, uh, not as polished and not as uh, efficient as what the Raspberry Pi Raspbian is doing. 
All right, so let's have a look at the Raspberry Pi 2 and see how that performs. Okay, so just booting up the Raspberry Pi 2. Um, although a bit fuzzy, you'll probably notice in the top left hand corner you can see four Raspberry Pis as opposed to one Raspberry Pi uh, as an image. And that's denoting that this is a quad core, so realistically there's four CPUs, uh, or you can think of it as four CPUs running as opposed to one. So just firing up an X session, and I've not done anything to this distribution, so it's um, straight out of the box, the same as the other one. And you can see that the uh, usage, the uh, CPU utilization in the top left, top right hand corner is sitting on about 1%. So we'll do as we did before and we'll fire up a web browser. Now that's the Google page, not quite finished, now it's finished. So util CPU utilization only really got to around about 20% there, 25% at the peak. Um, dropped down very quickly and that loaded the page dramatically faster. Uh, so that was actually quite quick. So we'll do something similar, what we did before. YouTube cats, top 10 best cats video of all time. Missing the plug-in, should still work. Okay, there we go. Fire this up. The potential of the internet is unlimited. New so, as speed. you can see here, so far, this is um, very slick, very smooth, no delay, almost instant. Everything's working perfectly the way it should, straight out of the box. So, uh, I haven't really tried this on 1080p or anything like that. So, as a uh, standard distribution, um, this is working flawlessly and quite quick. There's no problems watching the standard level of YouTube videos, etc. So we'll leave that and fire up the Yahoo page. I haven't been here before. So still loading. Again, we know that there's um, lots going on on this page. But it's still loading. Sitting on about um, 25 as an average percentage of CPU utilization. It peaks at 40, the page is finished. So that was as quick uh, or quicker than the banana pie was at loading a standard web page. Uh, I have also tested this on XBMC uh, and it works absolutely beautifully. I mean, XBMC actually runs on a Raspberry Pi Model B, so Raspberry Pi 1 um, with the 512 meg of memory and it runs reasonably well. However, you do come across a couple of slowdown points every now and then. With the quad core 900 megahertz CPU on the Raspberry Pi 2, uh, it absolutely flies. It is a fantastic um, uh, home theater PC. So uh, there we go. There's a quick look at the three uh, Pies, the Raspberry Pi 1, the Raspberry Pi 2, the Banana Pi, and how they work for basic desktop type operating systems and how, how quick they are compared to one another. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.